Welcome to the Best Guy Podcast, where we work on improving ourselves and being our best. You don't have to be a guy to listen to this podcast. This is for male or female. I just refer to everyone as guys at, in conversation. So if you're trying to improve yourself and you want to be the best guy you can be, then keep on listening because this is a self-improvement personal development podcast. The reason why I had to switch to a audio uh, podcast was because that I'm blind and it's kind of hard for me to do a podcast without my... Uh, host from the purpose podcast i'll explain that this is called life happens because life does happen there was a few things that had happened a couple of weeks ago my brother the host rayo of the purpose podcast got a great job and so he is moving and I'm proud of him. Our family is proud of him. And I don't know how long he'll be on the road. So, but he got a great job offer. And sometimes life happens. Something you can't. Uh, control but we got to keep on moving because he's going to keep on moving for better things in his life because he is one of the best guys and for me as a blind individual he was a great help in my life for I don't know maybe a decade he was very understanding and we had a, uh, we just got along really well. I know a lot of siblings don't get along really well, but he and I clicked. It was kind of very simple. We wanted to do a, a podcast, but at the time there weren't really many video podcasts. But we started, and but shortly it had to come to an end. So I wanted to change things up because the purpose was our dream but uh, we have to change things up and I didn't know how busy he'll get over there I didn't know his schedule so I just decided or we decided that maybe we should just put this on the back burner and so I decided to go on because I'm already in that self-improvement personal development podcast phase of my life and that's why I call this one Life Happens. But I'm going to explain what the Best Guy podcast is going to be about. It's not a male-dominated podcast. If anything, I would love to have female uh, co-hosts or guests on here. Maybe that will happen someday. But... It's not just about getting anybody and everybody to come on this podcast. What it is about is people who I see as uh, wanting to improve themselves every day. Because I want it to be a kind of podcast where if you say something, I got to take you at your word, my viewers or my listeners have to take you at your word. And we don't want uh, fake people on here. We want you to constantly improve yourselves. Just as they would want to improve themselves. So if you're listening to this for the first time. Then that's what I want this podcast to be about. I want people who are willing to improve themselves. Willing to change 
And that's my main focus is not just to have gender uh, specific listeners, but everybody. So I would keep listening if I were you, if you're wanting to improve yourselves financially, spiritually, uh, physically, because I'm going to try to hit all topics. I don't know how long I'll take this, but I know I want to go until the wheels fall off. But today, I just want to talk to you about what the Best Guy podcast is and the life change that happens. Sometimes things are out of our control. Would I want my brother to always be around? Of course. We always want that. But sometimes job offers happen. Things in life happen. And we got to keep on moving. There is a... Uh, NFL coach goes by the name Bill Belichick who always says or who came up with the whole next guy up mentality I had to trust people around me a lot more because as a blind person I gotta get help in the fact that I gotta be taken around places and I got to trust people. Rayo was a big help. He, he, he naturally got what I wanted. Sometimes our uh, minds thought alike. We could think of a joke. We can hear something in a movie or a TV show and laugh and know what the other was thinking. It seems like we were like twins sometimes. I think that's how a lot of my siblings are. We just naturally get each other sometimes, our jokes, what offends each other, what not to say, what to say. But uh, that's as good of a person as Rhea was and is because he was the best guy. We all got to be our best guy. We can't just say, I'm my best. Here's a story on... Uh, the being my best I remember years ago in a karate class my dad took me and my siblings to and it was my brother which is younger than me and my sister we were all in karate and we had a good maybe training that day or workout in our karate class I was tired and he also did this during the karate test that we had. And when we got home, we would train more. We would do duck walks. We would punch. We would have to recite every uh, thing that we did over there. And as burnt out as we were, he made us stay up. And which helped train me for life. Because I wanted to be my best. And he was helping us to be better than what we thought our best was we can always go on and be better if you did your best you should sleep better tonight and knowing that you did your very best and then do it again tomorrow and the next day and the next day that way we can sleep rested uh, well rested and just keep on keeping on with our lives and knowing that we did our best being the best mom, being the best dad, being the best siblings, being the best aunt, uncle you can be, being the very best person you can be. And that's what I want to hit on this podcast is being our best. Don't worry about what other people think. Maybe they think you can do better, but if you're doing your best, then we should always be happy with that. And then there's tomorrow. So let's go keep reading books that will help us get better. Not fantasy novels or nothing of value. I used to read bodybuilding magazines because that's what I was into at the time. And I used to read leadership books. And I would read the Bible. Anything to help me improve myself. 
I was always into that. This is before podcasts got big. This is before, like, audios and uh, all the podcasts, YouTube. And I'm glad that I could be on YouTube to tell my story to everybody, which is awesome. So let's go keep doing our best. Let's go keep improving ourselves and never settle for anything less. Sometimes we may get sick. Sometimes things come up. But say your best was a week ago and you got a little cold or something. And you're only doing maybe 60%. But that's your best at that time no matter what people say because you can't always function at what you used to do. Sometimes we get older and we can't function at our best. But we can only function with what we can do. Sometimes uh, when you're younger, your body's more durable. But when you get older, you got to stretch out a little bit more because our bodies might go through cramps and pain. So we have to do whatever we can to do our best. As a blind person, I'm constantly looking up new foods that I can learn how to cook. I used to learn how to, or I knew how to cook when I was a teenager. Sometimes I would cook for my mom and my family, my immediate family. But when I went blind two or three years ago, fully blind, I had to relearn to cook. And that's when I started to live by myself. And I had my brother as a roommate, Rayo. For years and I got used to that. He would cook. And. Now I'm alone. And I'm learning to cook. Thank you to YouTube and. Smartphones and. Smart technology. So. Everything helps. So. I'm always working on being. Better. My house may not be the best it can be. But as a blind person, I try to clean it the best I can. No excuses. My mom will sometimes come by and help. And I try to be the best role model I can be to anybody, any younger person. But they got to take this advice and do what they can with it I remember teaching Rayo at a young age to work out and he did his best at that time and later on he got into the field he is in now and he started creating his own workouts with his own spin with his own needs and to re uh, habilit or uh, to re rehab himself pretty much. And now he is very good. He helped me. And I had back problems. I still do. But a big portion of it went away. I had uh, problems with my wrists because I'm a person with small joints. And so... He gave me some exercises to do. I won't give them out because he helped me. And if anybody knows him, you got to pay him the money. But he helped my body. And I'm so thankful because I used to do like maybe 100 pound barbell curls and or 225 barbell curls, which would hurt my wrists. If you extend your hands out and like... Extend your hand, right hand out in front of you, straight in front of you. It'll be on your outer right part of your wrist. And that would hurt all the time on both sides when, when I would curl. And after a while, with the training he gave me, then it became better. And I learned. I wasn't arrogant and said, I already know what to do because I'm not a physical therapist. I don't know what to do. And he taught me a lot of things. And we would go 
learn from each other. I'm glad he got into the field because I'm a lot better. So always keep learning. Read a book. Listen to an audio podcast or a podcast. There are many. I listen to some for entertainment like wrestling podcasts. But this is the kind of podcast I always wanted because it's always been something I was a part of. I always wanted to improve. I played drums because I was never musically talented. That was my brother, my younger brother. I got into preaching, not because I wanted to, but it helped me improve my speaking ability to people because I didn't like public speaking. Even as a courtesy clerk, uh, I had to learn to talk to people. It couldn't be written down or anything. People would come up to me and talk to me customers, co-workers. I didn't know what they were going to say and so I had to just go off the whatever came to my mind. Before, I didn't like that. I was this uh, I was this uh, introvert as they would say and I didn't like talking to people. I used to go home, work out, even through the holidays, and wouldn't go to my uh, mom's side of the family dinners because I didn't like big crowds. I I admit that now, but back then I just said I want to work out. I know I had excuses because I didn't like being in front of people, especially because of my visual disability. I was born with retinitis pigmentosa, and we, I didn't get that, uh, or I didn't get... That figured out until I think I was a mid-teenager. And I graduated with a high school diploma, a regular high school diploma, not a special ed. Here's the thing. I was lazy in school. I wish I was the person I am now, but you can't go back in time. So I would get Fs. I remember one year my mom took me to my teacher and said, if he can turn in all these, he can get an A. And I did. I did A-plus a work, which averaged my A and F to a C. But my mom was telling me, I knew you could do it. And that's why I said, that's why I didn't want to do it, because she would expect that. A or better. But I say that to say this. Don't make any excuses on not being your best. I'm a person who is blind. I had retinitis pigmentosa, which is basically tunnel vision. If you uh, cup your hands, like almost like a binocular, that's what I would see back, back in the day until I went fully blind. I worked as a courtesy clerk. I worked at Wendy's. Those were the fast places or fast pace jobs I had. I went from a person who was only a backup in the uh, as a grill person on at Wendy's to being the person that was the main grill person at the shifts I had and then I went to uh Safeway after that because my boss Kathy cut me down from about 32 to 38 hours a week to 16 hours so I quit or actually, I put in my two weeks notice and then I got hired at Safeway. I told him that I wanted to work twice as hard to do what a person with good sight can do. And the boss hired me and later on, I was up for my year uh checkup I don't know what to say about uh, I don't know what to call it but it was a uh, where they check or evaluation yearly evaluation and uh, she would say that you need to work at this this or this but you are really getting better a lot better than a lot of people with sight that that have 
full sight. And I told her at that time, well, there's Albertsons and Smiths or someone that uh, is really Kroger's. But they came to me and offered me more money. And she said, uh, we'll keep you and we'll pay you more. But I won't tell you how much you're going to get paid. I got my next check and it was better than what the other stores offered. And I was so thankful. It's just doing your best and you'll get rewarded in kind. Sometimes not financially, but with respect or other things that matter more than money. So just do your best and things will happen. You will affect lives. Maybe you already are, but you'll affect more lives. And you'll just keep on affecting lives that you don't even notice you're affecting. Some people will tell you that you impacted their life. I have a lot of awesome people that I met through my life that impacted my life. Friends, co-workers, even my parents. They are hard working they always have been uh they to me i think that's where i got a lot of the being the best because they always operated at their best if you know them then you know that they always have been like that and people look up to them and i look up to them i'm so thankful and my awesome siblings too we may not be our best right now. Ten years from now, we'll be better than what we were today, though. And we're always trying to improve. And a lot of that is my parents. They taught us that. And I just want to teach anybody. Maybe you don't have people to teach you. Maybe you never had the leadership uh, in your life that people could tell you that you could do better. Maybe people say, oh, you're good where you are. But I'm telling you, you may be good where you are, but you could be better. Tomorrow, you can be better. Just keep growing every day. Let's go keep being better. And that's what the whole thing about the Purpose Podcast was. Was me and my brother just trying to help people be better. And that's why I want to continue to do the Best Guy Podcast. Because... I want us to be all at our best. I took that from a pro wrestler. And on his promos, he would say, I'm the best guy here, the best guy there, the best guy anywhere or everywhere. You could use either way. But uh, I use that every day when I'm doing something, when I don't want to work out. When I don't want to... Do self-improvement when I don't want to do a video. So, but I'm blind, but I'm still trying to do my best. Hopefully, I impact one person at least. That's what I always say. If I impacted one person, then I'm so happy. But I want to impact more because we want to all be the best guy. This is the Best Guy Podcast. Keep on listening and keep on working at being your best. If you like this kind of content, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I will try to put out a podcast every first Sunday of every month. Because I'm by myself, I got to do it on my own. So if it's not... Uh, the first Sunday, I'll try to do it the day after or the day after that. But I will promise that I've tried to put out a podcast every month. Just put in, subs or subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a Best Guy podcast. And let's go all improve at being the best at, as we can be, not what other people want. I'm MR3, 